Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. This is Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're looking at a bundle by Dark Intervals, which includes Patmos and Guitars in Space. Uh, Patmos is a collection of pads and atmospheres, and Guitars in Space is an ambient guitar toolkit. So we're going to dive into both of those in just a second and have a play around with them. Um, but if you're interested in deals like this and would like to be informed, then hit the notification bell and subscribe and you will not miss out. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So we're going to start with Guitars in Space, um, which is based on an electric guitar sound. Um, but according to their manual, they mainly used a jazz master style guitar and a baritone fretless guitar. And it definitely gives me ambient vibes and they recommend it's for ambient and cinematic indie kind of genre. And um, obviously very few patches in this one because they want to have uh, quality over quantity. Which I think is lovely because sometimes you do get your spoilt for choice and it's good to have some really nice ones to just kind of filter through and know exactly where they are and I'm very guilty of buying far too many plugins and then forgetting what I have. So it's pretty good to kind of see here that they have six of them. So the Plectrum guitar, just to quickly go over the interface, so we have a selection of reverbs and delays um, and attack release. Um, so you can see here lots of different types of reverb uh, panning um, for the delay and um, we also have a little um, tempo sync feature uh, for the time of the delay so you can kind of you can see up here we can have it or you can also put it in milliseconds as well I like to keep it with the uh, the tempo sync on even and uh, yeah this button here um, is actually for I think it was for the stereo spread yeah that's what this is for um, so you can do quite a lot with this one. It's their main patch and it, it does sound really lovely, so we'll have a quick listen to it uh, just now. So we can play with the tone of it. Change. Turn it up a little bit with the send. Make it absolutely massive. Attack up. Put a right up. Change the pan about. Just kind of really get a feel for it. sound to it. Um, so we've got dampening and feedback there. So it's a very simple interface to use, which is great. So moving on from that one, uh, we have the guitar pad. Exactly the same interface here, so. Mm. 
Nice warm sound there. Very nice and warm. and simple. I do enjoy how simple this is. It just lets you get right onto the creative part without having to muck around with too much. sounding pad. Guitar swell. Can add some delay onto that. to the the wet one. I like that one a little bit better actually. Really pretty. And guitars in the distance finally. Lovely. So now we'll have a quick look at Patmos. Patmos is an instrument based on ambient pads, strings and atmospheres, which is right up my alley. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, it's obviously designed for ambient music, uh, trailer music, um, sort of stuff like that. Um, it's made with an analog, um, well, with analog hardware sense and sort of processed and sort of multi-layered to get kind of like the result we're about to hear. And they also uh, sort of state it's supposed to be kind of uh, straightforward enough to kind of use um, without too much kind of having to muck around with it. So you can see here it has an envelope, low pass and high pass filter in the middle here. Um, if we click these buttons here. Again, the same kind of setup as Guitars in Space with the delay and the reverb, um, which does kind of cut down on kind of the more complex stuff if you're quite you know keen to just get started. Um, so I've loaded up one of the presets here. I believe um, Patmos has 45 of these instruments and about 
30 Maltese as well to play with. Now the Maltese are basically just stacked uh, instruments to get a, a nice a nice sound. We'll have a listen to a couple of those and a couple of the instruments. So we'll start with the Lush one, which I've already had a quick play with and it sounds lovely. Really pretty. Um, pick another couple. The pulses ones I quite liked. Um. That sounds mega awesome. Trojan Ghost. I've not actually seen this one yet. We'll both get a surprise. Quite nice that. Again, the reverb and everything can be turned on and off as well. Um, so we have try Iceberg as the last one to play around with. Really big sounds. Lovely actually. Lovely for layering and tracks, definitely. Um, multis here, you can see uh, we have 30 of these, so we'll pick two of them. So we'll start with the ending scenes. Um, here we are, so you can see we have three of them layered up. So that Trojan Ghost one we tried out earlier. So we can play a big F. And obviously we could individually edit these um, as well, rather than just seeing the top part. So if you wanted to individually uh, edit each of these samples um, as a multi, you could do that. And you can also obviously stack your own ones if you want to create your own multi as well. So we shall reset the multi there and we will pick one more yoga one. Very, very pretty. So yeah, that's basically all there is to these two uh, bundles. Very easy to sell, very easy to start. Um, a good selection of um, sort of instruments, uh, samples, just 
basically a very good sort of set of sample libraries all around really. Um, again, pads, <laughs> strings, atmospheres. Um, I really do think the guitar does sound really awesome to be honest. Um, especially the uh, Pletrum one. I just feel it's got a very strong sound to it. Uh, I could see myself using that in a lot of different stuff. And it's on a really good deal right now. Um, highly recommend and uh, yeah, I hope that this has given you an indication of what it sounds like. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye for now.